Hello, I'm here to St Giles Park. There's nothing really much to do, really. Here is the kids area. They've got quite a lot of things to do because they've got the swings, they're in, they're in really good condition, and this as well. And a lot of kids come here, but not teenagers. This is where we hang out. It's a little hut, but it's got graffiti all over it. And it really, when everything's got graffiti on it, it gives people a really bad impression of the children in the village. And really, it's people from other villages that come and trash it all. The slide is broken as well. It is usable though. And the swings, well, what can I say? People came and the, they just basically trashed it all and we have nothing to play on. And the seesaw, well, it's just a bit of wood really. Welcome to Tears and Giles Community Centre. There are a lot of events held here such as bowls, bingo and line dancing. Um, they are aimed for the elderly people. There's Youth Club that runs here every Wednesday, but me and Rhyma are starting to grow out of that now. We would like events such as street dancing and other sports. Thanks for watching. I'll be done to St Giles. Even though we took this opportunity very seriously, we still enjoyed every minute of it. Thank you for watching and goodbye. So you've lived here quite a long time. Then. Oh yes. yes, yes. And what do you, what would you say you like best about living in the village? Well, we like the slow pace. Shall right. I say? Um, it's a very friendly village, and we were attracted by the fact it was very rural. Shall we say? Okay. Would you say that a shop was an important feature to have in the village, and what kind of things would be, you know, best for it to stop? Um, well, I'll start, there has always been a village shop, there used to be two village shops, but that particular corner shop that is still running now um, was always the sort of shop that sold milk and bread and newspapers and the other things that people run out of. And um, when it actually closed um, some years ago, people were um, you know, dismayed. It was no longer a corner shop, mm. but of course it has to be a viable business. And when the shop reopened, um, people were pleased. And um, in order to sort of keep the shop going, what do you need to know? What, what I mean, what do you need to know from the people of the village? You need to know really just what they're wanting on the shelves and what they're wanting to buy. Yeah. Because uh, if they don't tell me what they want. I can't stock it. No, you don't so, that, are you? no, I've had a couple of customers come in, look at the shelves, and go, "Oh, you haven't got what I want," mm. and walked out the door before I could say, "What did you want?" Yeah. But they, most of them, I'll say to them, uh, "What, what were you wanting?" Yeah. And the next time they've popped in, we've got it stocked. Opposite your church, you've got the old schoolhouse. Yes. <laughs> Would you like to tell us about your thoughts on the old schoolhouse, which is not in the greatest state of repair, is it? The old schoolhouse has been like that since I moved into the village. No, no, I tell a lie. What they did when somebody complained once, they put sheets of um, wood, chipboard type wood, and painted black windows in it. Hence, it's now got windows. Yes, I've seen that. <laughs> but that her building has been like that since I moved in in 1989. Personally, I believe that the council should put a compulsory purchase order on it. It does. It's such a shame near to the, the church, which is so beautiful, to have these two buildings, which yes. are, you know, in such yes. a state of disrepair. Really, not very. They? It's not very good for the village. Right. What about the community centre? Do you use that at all? Um, no, we d well, I'm being honest, we don't really use it. Um, I basically go down there to vote, because he always says to me, I must vote, mm. so I do. <laughs> but we don't really go down there very much, do we? Mm. I'm not really into the dance things mm. that they do. and. Mm. Um, um, and we play indoor bowls elsewhere. They do right, short mat yeah. bowls here, but we prefer to play okay. ordinary bowls, not the short mat ones. 
But um, I think they offer lots of things if you are interested in those things. Mm. But it's like everywhere, if mm. you're not interested, mm. you know, then you won't go. No. But I think they, they do try to put on different things. Yeah, but it's um, quite a range, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose there's plenty of spaces that more things could be included. Mm. What sort of things would make you get down there, do you think? Um, what sort of things would you be oh, interested in? I'm just trying a bit to push now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. For just... us, it would be crafts, anything yeah, craft-wise. We, we like craft, okay. craft work. Yeah, you could, um, mm. could have it. Okay, um, so there's obviously, I mean, you, you talk about the short mat bowls and the luncheon club, that, that's all aimed at the older people. What is there for younger people? To do in the village. When you've got a uh, youth club which is now that went downhill but it's now picking up which is uh, and once that gets going well they have organisations and trips out and different things so uh, you know that's something which we're looking forward to them getting bigger and so the youngsters I mean the disappointment at the moment we have got is they are playing equipment in the in the field but uh, I that is being dealt with as much as we can, but it's finance, yeah. it's all to do with finance. What do you think could be done to improve the village for young people? Like you said, there's youth club, is there ways they can make youth club better? Are there other activities they could put on or facilities? Like for, like for Christmas, like a little disco or like um, more games to play, because there's only a little variety of games to play. And also I hear that most kids want a park as well, mm. all right? So yeah. what would you want, why, why would you like a new park? Describe the current one, is it not very good? Well, the current one isn't very good because then half the stuff is gone and break. So what, what, what do you want in the new one? Um, like um, a new seesaw for the little kids and like, just like a like area for the big kids, so so they don't wreck all the little kids' things. So they just like put some new stuff in there. Yeah, so two separate areas. Yeah. And what, why why is it so important to have a good play park? Do you think? Because it entertains us kids. We have a thirty mile limit speed limit along this road, and when I am walking up to the bus and the red light thirty comes flashing on, I turn around and glare at the driver. <laughs> It doesn't have any effect. <laughs> it makes you feel better. <laughs> makes me feel better, yes. Um, but apart from that, it's a, it's a friendly village. Mm. Everybody is uh, extremely helpful. It's like the speeding down this road. That really gets me. Because we've got an old guy called Tony that comes in, head of Neighbourhood Watch, and he's an ex-policeman, and he clocks all the cars to find out. But I found out that even when they park the, the police speed camera down there and they catch you speeding, all you get is a letter in your, in your post to say, can you slow down? Mm. Yeah, and yeah, I think it's really silly because we're right on the corner, we end up with the trucks, the tractors going through, and there's a score up the road. And they still insist on speeding through here. Yeah. And he, he stands up there and goes, how do I know if they're speeding? So he, he'll stand there going, I think they're speeding. I could just stand about a couple of steps down and watch the uh, signpost flash up 30 for near enough every car that goes down there. And it's ridiculous. It's, um, please let the buses keep going. Right. Because for little old ladies like me who don't mm. drive, <laughs> yeah, um, it, you know, we are lucky. We've got a reasonable bus service and we can get into Whiz Beach and from there we can get, ho uh, there are buses half hourly to either Lynn or Peterborough. Uh, so, um, yeah. you know, we're reasonably well served there.